this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're going to talk about how to do split screen video. And there's really more than one way to skin this cat. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about the first way to do it, which is just take a sword and cut the screen in half. All right, so we're in Vegas Pro 17, and we're going to split screen some video. So. I grab some video of my cat patches. One of the easiest things to do is just go ahead and grab all of the video that you need and put it in the timeline right next to each other. And I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio because I don't need it. Or you can actually go down here and click this uh, ignore event grouping and then delete the audio if that's not something you want. We're going to add some awesome bongo music later. Right, so the next thing you need to do is right click the video track and hit insert vi video track and do this a couple of times. Now you have three video tracks and you can line them up. So now I have three separate shots of my cat patches and I want to show them all three at the same time. Now here's why I say there's more than one way to skin a cat. So we cut up the video you're gonna see that there's actually multiple ways you might want to do this. Now the easiest way is to go to video effect and you're gonna look for picture in picture which is going to be in the P's sorry I'm really bad at finding things and recording a tutorial so you're going to look at picture in picture and you're just going to grab uh, any one of these presets here and you can put it on the different videos and now you can see that you very easily have three different videos that you can move around depending on which one you have selected so let's go back to this top one here because I drug I drug two different presets on these two top layers of video you can't do it on the bottom layer of video because that's what well, you can um, we're actually gonna do that in a second but to see it you're gonna need to do it on top layer of video first again I said this is just one way so if you click on the effects button on the layer of video you want to manipulate you can then actually drag this around and resize it so now I can go to each each part of the video here and just do a little montage thingy and then uh, now you can actually see three layers of video here at one time now uh, one of my challenges is these are all 4k videos um, so it just took a second for everything to catch up so now you got a whole lot of cuteness in one frame. That's how to split screen video, but that's not necessarily the only way to do it. There's actually a couple more. Um, really, there's a lot more. So uh, first, I'm going to delete this effect on everything. I want you to know, though, that you can change the angle of this. You can move it around. You can uh, change the corner points. There's, there's all sorts of different ways you can manipulate. Uh, these picture and pictures to get them side by side or whatever uh, but that may not be exactly what you're trying to do you might not be just trying to show multiple videos all lined up like in a four screen uh, video game or something like that you might not be trying to do that so I'm gonna delete these effects by hitting the FX key haha <laughs> um, the little X right there on the FX key and that's gonna delete it and we're gonna go do this again just kind of make them on the same length why not so actually there we go okay so now we're back to where we were if you go to the event pan crop button which is right here it is this uh, kind of cropping signal right there it says event pan crop when you hover over it and click that on the top clip you can actually move this thing around that means you can show a corner of the video, a side of the video, top of the video, the bottom of the video, whatever you want to do, because this F stands for field of vision, and this is what you're going to see. And you can make that field smaller, like you can zoom in, and that means the only thing you're going to see is like, if I want you to just see her ear, I can zoom in and just show you her ear. If you want to see more than that, for example, video behind it, you're going to need to make the field of vision go around this video. So you can expand it, and you can easily do the same thing you're doing with the picture-in-picture -picture effect, where you can 
uh, put the video in the corner, in the top right hand corner, or whatever. But that might not be exactly what you want to do still. You might be like, oh, but I want to do that cool video vertical layering effect where you need to mess with the aspect ratios to fit the videos differently. All right, well, let's do that. So if you want to do that, you're going to actually have to mess with some of these settings here. You're going to want to unclick this lock aspect ratio. That will, that perfect square you had is going to go away. If you need it back, up here there's presets. You can get Academy aspect ratio, 16 by 9. That's probably most likely what your camera is. 4 by 3 if you've got some old school video, if you're going for the old school look. Or square if you're a square. I don't know why you would do square. So um, there are reasons. Uh, so if you unlock this X and Y, just like in math class, X is the vertical whoa sorry X is the horizontal Y is the vertical right here and uh, that means they're not locked to stay exactly the same which means you can squish your image and I can choose what part of the image I'm going to show you so if I want to show you patches here I can easily show you just a little bit of her right there and now we can watch these videos well I had something done that this is a good talking point too. See right here, I had the sync cursor button selected. This could cause you a problem. I don't want this to move around and make keyframes. If you do, please check out my animation tutorial. I don't want the animation. I'm going to fix that right now by unclicking the sync cursor because that was making that was making me manipulate a keyframe further down the line where I had the cursor right here. See how it synced? If I move this over here, it moves that right there. I do not want them to be synced. I just want this. See how the keyframes are different now? I want to delete the first keyframe, slide this back to the beginning. There we go. So now you can see that the I have two videos layered like so. So now there are still some things you might want to do here that uh, can really, really change the effect a lot. So one of those things is you, let's say we want all three of these videos to show up at the same time we're gonna have another problem as well because even if you did that let's go to the event pan crop again uh, if I want the, this video on top right here to take up the top third I'm gonna need to make it a little shorter you have to get it you have to get it to fit there if I want to take up the top third that might be good it might not be good because see patches my cat isn't always in the right spot there on the video it's not always uh, where I want her to be seen just because it's at the top of the video I want the part of the video that actually has patches in it to be at the top so to fix that I'm gonna go to the video effect I'm gonna go back to picture-in-picture and combine the powers to create not Captain Planet. But I'm just going to add the default effect to it. And then so now I have this cropped thing that I can move around. So now this patches is on top. Let's put this patches on the bottom. So we're going to have to, that stays unlocked. We're going to squeeze this, expand it. I see. I think let's find some spot here. Towards the center is really where she's going to be showing up. And then I want the picture in picture effect. So it gets a little confusing, right? Because I got so many similar videos here. But now I have her cute little face right there. And that's actually half and half. I didn't make this small enough. I need it to be a third of the video. All right. Pay attention to your keyframes because I was trying to pay attention to what I'm saying on this video and not my keyframes. I actually was creating a keyframe further down. That was uh, that was that was actually creating a different effect to what I was seeing. If you want everything to be the same, you only need one keyframe. Uh, if again, see my animation video for something different. So now, let's see, she goes to the camera about there. I just know that from my footage. See how she 
kind of comes in and peeks at the camera. That one's too small, so or it's not in the right area, so I can click on the effect button again and move it around like I need to. And then let's see how they stack up. There we go. And you can leave black in between them or put a, if you go to media generators, there's all sorts of solid colors and things like that that you can put behind it to create different borders. And let's look at the top one here. And it's really just about adjusting until you have the effect that you want with the size that you want. Oh wait, sorry. Picture in picture is also adjusted here. And so, if you decide that you want to make these exactly even, one thing you can do is right click and copy and then you can right click and selectively paste event attributes. Now the first thing that's going to do is actually move your field view up because uh, you have this picture in picture effect moved with it but you can simply just move it back down to where you want it to go but the event pan crop is now exactly like the event pan crop above it so that's another, that's another way to help with exactness uh, as you're measuring this out um, alright let's watch a little bit of it just playing three videos at the same time now this effect works the exact same way if you do it vertically make your video short and fat You can go to the picture and picture in fact. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one there. And you can just move it and do a vertical plane. One more thing I want you to note is the cookie cutter effect may help you out as well. So if you go to cookie cutter, right here, you can actually grab this and throw it on one of these. You can cut away a section see and see through it like so like so I have a circle here you can change that to anything you want but you can cut away a section or one thing you can do is I fed my cat by the way I, I fed her right after this um, so another thing you can do is resize it. You can see how this effect could really, really, really help you get more of that staggered effect that you want. This also lets you build borders on things as well. Which means you can really get some staggered 60s effects on things. So uh, let me click to a different part of the video that has patches actually in it. There, see? You can do all sorts of neat things. You can even add more, so it's not you're not limited to three. You can do as many as you want, and just keep. You can use these effects in tandem together to create a video. So that's that's that is multiple ways to skin this cat on how to put multiple videos on the same video. So how to see multiple videos at the same time. Uh, so this is not the only way to do it as well. One more thing, bonus content. You can actually fade this video. If you go to the opacity on the clip right here, just fade it a little bit. Boom. Now you can see through the video, also seeing more than one video at a time. So that's how to show more than one video at a time or do a split screen effect or whatever, whatever the, whatever the, intention is you should be able to take these tools and to use them together to display more than one image at a time. So thank you. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please uh, subscribe for more. Like if this video helped you out and let me know if you need a tutorial because that's where I get ideas for my content. So I have a Movie Studios version of this tutorial coming out shortly and I'll see you next time.